Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing two more browsers from Windows 10, and that's Microsoft Edge versus Mozilla Firefox. So I did a Chrome comparison that you can check out. It was my previous video. But a lot of you guys wanted to see Firefox being compared. So here it is, Microsoft Edge versus Mozilla Firefox. So the first test I did is pretty self-explanatory. It's a boot test, just clicking on the icons. As you can see, Firefox took 1.7 seconds and Edge took 1.1. And that's probably because Edge is integrated with the Windows operating system. So it was a little bit faster upon boot. So the first benchmark I conducted was the Octane 2.0 JavaScript benchmark made by Google. So it's pretty neutral here. Uh, both these browsers are incredibly close. Edge takes a very, very slight lead in terms of JavaScript performance. And JavaScript is what a lot of modern web browsers, or I'm sorry, websites use. Um, so both these browsers are very good with rendering JavaScript, so you really can't go wrong with either one. But if you're really, really specific, Edge is a little fast. So the last benchmark I did was the HTML5 test. And HTML5 is actually really important in the modern web. A lot more and more websites are using it. And Firefox is a little bit better here, about 50 or 60 points better than Microsoft Edge. Uh, HTML5 is used in, for example, YouTube videos. So HTML5 is a pretty big deal, and you know Edge isn't too far behind, but Firefox is better. So that's it for benchmarks, and real-world performance is a lot more important than benchmarks, so I also wanted to make sure you guys got that. So I loaded up five of the most popular websites, in my opinion, and I just timed them uh, to see which browser would load, on average, them quicker. Uh, Edge was faster on three of the five websites, and Firefox was faster on one. Uh, CNN and ESPN were incredibly, you know, media-intensive websites, and those those were won by Edge, but not by much. Um, the difference in both directions on all these websites are really small. Um, so I averaged them, and Edge was 0.4 seconds faster on average. Um, this is with no add-ons. Uh, so yeah, Edge is faster in you know real-world use. But what are you gonna do with those 0.4 seconds? Not much. Um, you know, Edge. It's not a very big difference. Um, Edge is faster, but it's not tremendously faster. Firefox is still really fast. So the last test I did was RAM usage. This is on a PC with 6 gigs of RAM. And first I opened up Edge, and it used, and I opened up those five tabs that I just showed you, and it used up about a gigabyte of RAM. And then I opened up Firefox with those same five tabs, and it used less than half of that, about 450 megabytes. That's impressive. So if you're on a low-end PC with, a, you know, you don't have more than two or three gigabytes of RAM, I would say Firefox is the way to go. So, to recap this, Edge is very fast. It feels fast, it's really snappy, scrolling, zooming, it's all really, really just fast. That's something the Internet Explorer didn't have. It's something that a lot of browsers still don't have, and that's awesome to see. And it's integrated with Windows, so it gives you the best battery life of any browser on Windows. But it's still not customizable. There are no extensions. Extensions are coming in, you know, Windows 10 Update 1. Extensions are coming to Edge uh, later this year or early 2016, but they're not here yet. So as of right now, Edge, if you're a speed person, go ahead and use Edge. It's a little bit faster than Firefox, uh, but you can't customize it. You're not going to be using any extensions. You can use Edge. If you want to customize your browser, um, if you don't mind a very, very slight speed difference, um, and, you know, cross, cross platform is something you're into, then Firefox is the way to go. You can get Firefox on iOS, Android, a bunch of different platforms. Actually, the iOS version is coming out, I believe. Um, it's almost just as fast as Edge, but you can make it look any way you want to, and you can make it behave any way you want to with extensions. Uh, and if you're on a low-end PC, it takes up less RAM, and, you know, half the RAM. So that's definitely something to consider. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, definitely tell me what you guys think, which browser you use on Windows 10. Uh, there's also Chrome versus Edge uh, if you use Chrome. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Windows 10 and Browser Wars videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.